hey guys welcome back it's me kb and in this video i want to show you guys how to test linux distros without downloading and installing them yes you heard it right so how people usually test the linux distros is using virtual machine and to be honest i still recommend you guys to test the linux distros in virtual machine if you really want to test and really want to dig inside the linux you want to test but as you know there are more than 300 linux distros and uh, if you want to just see the linux distro how it looks and feels then yeah you can try this out this is actually a online service i will put link in the description you can go there and visit the site the site name is distrotest.net from here this site you can actually test all the linux distros without downloading and installing them you can actually access them remotely so once you visit this site you will see at the right side top systems you can just click on start and start doing the test and you can also go to the menu system list new systems and all that kind of stuff and there's an alphabetic order too so if you want to you know try the random linux distro you can go by the alphabetic order and just click on the linux distro you like and start doing the test but to be honest i have never tried a deep in os so i just want to see it so yeah let's just click on start and it it will open the new page and uh, we have to wait so you can see your slot is number one that means i'm at this time i'm the one who is trying to test this if there are multiple people you may have to wait a little longer so once your wait is done after that you will see new options here open built-in vnc viewer and open external vnc client so these are the remote access methods you can choose so i prefer the built-in vnc viewer because i think this is faster than the external one because i have tested this before so i'm just gonna click on open built-in vnc viewer just click on it and after that it will just open the new page here you can actually access your you know linux distro you are trying to access or just at least test okay so there is a username and password so you don't have to put the username but just a password is dt4 user so you just remember that and after that go to the distro you want to log in into and it will be really slow to be honest because uh, you're remotely accessing this so it's not gonna be smooth as the virtual machine but at least you will you'll be amazed to see that this actually works so what was the password dt for user okay hit enter and it's loading okay so it's not like super you know fast but you can see as i said i have never used a uh deep in os before so yeah this is the first time i'm like seeing this and actually it looks amazing it has a mac os style look which is really amazing but i still prefer the windows style look so i don't know what this interface called but uh, the win the interface which looks like a windows is plasma kde so i prefer plasma kde so if you are new to the you know linux world then uh, you know actually there are many desktop environment interface so you can choose any desktop environment you want you can actually this like for example you are using the deep in os which comes with this uh, look and style you can actually change this so this is really amazing thing in linux but i don't want to go into deep details because uh, someday i'm planning to make a video on what is the best linux distro that i use and all that kind of stuff so but you get the idea so linux is a great os okay <laughs> even though i don't use linux as my daily drive but i do sometime okay i don't want to reveal which linux distro i use because we will save that for another video because you know what i mean so actually uh this is a dpnos so actually i'm gonna 
go to the settings and I'm going to show you that this is actually a virtual machine we are accessing. So someone has made a virtual machine and they have turned it on and they are actually giving us the access of it. So that is the reason how we are able to access the Linux distros without downloading and installing. Just This is a remote control access actually. So if you go to the system information, you can see by the processor. If you look at this processor, you can see QEME virtual CPU version. So actually, whoever has installed this deep in os they are actually using the qemu virtual machine software so yeah if you want to know about that you can do the google search qemu virtual machine and you will know everything about it so this is how you can remotely access the any linux distros that you want and you know see look feel whatever you want to do i don't know what i'm saying but you got the idea so this is not going to be really fast like super fast experience but at least you can see how the linux distro looks and uh, to be honest i'm being honest here actually all the popular linux distros are about look and feel so yeah i like it deep in a way someday i would like to you know test this so same goes for other elementary os uh, i have i don't know i have heard about it but it is same you, if you can see the thumbnail of it it looks the same kali linux i have never tried <laughs> okay there is a uh, android x86 distro too pretty amazing manjaro i think i have tried this ubuntu linux mint i have tried this debian i have tried this so actually let's try some new linux testers that i have never heard about <laughs> okay just just a few of them okay fedora i don't know i have never tried but i have heard about it this is not the uh debian based os actually this is oh you are on number slot too so i have to wait a little longer uh, i think this is a newer version so i'm just gonna see it i just want to feel it connecting wow this is <laughs> uh what start okay i'm just gonna start i never thought that i thought i'm gonna get the login screen at the beginning but i don't know nothing about fedora actually so let's just wait and see if it loads up actually all right it's uh, doing some loading stuff i don't know what <laughs> what is happening linux is great os by the way but uh, complicated too yeah it's kind of complicated some linux distros are easy to use some are comp really really complicated even if you get the easy to use linux distro it will be harder than the mac or windows all right try fedora so i think this fedora thing is not even installed in the virtual machine of those people who are giving this service so i'm just gonna hit on try because i i'm not gonna waste my time here installing and this is actually my first time trying out the fedora so uh, yeah <laughs> all right we have uh, some problem guys i don't know how to navigate i think this is same as the uh okay it's it's loading okay it's a uh, it has a gnome or uh, yeah i think that's how you say it it has a gnome shell interface desktop environment okay so it's like ubuntu but i'm not too sure if it is based on ubuntu or arch or debian i don't know i'm not too sure because i'm not a linux guy but i do know a little bit okay it's not like i'm totally noob but yeah it's it looks like a linux uh, i mean ubuntu <laughs> linux ah i can't even navigate what's happening within the fedora but someday i would like to but first i'm gonna try the deep in os actually <laughs> elementary yeah there are so many so you got the idea so this is how you can test and yeah that's it you can test the linux distros online without downloading without installing but 
I still recommend you guys, you know, if you really want to test, go deep inside the OS, then do the virtual machine test. But if you just want to see how it looks, then yeah, this is a great website for it. So we can't complain about that. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to do a Linux video, then you can do the comment saying that, hey, can you make another Linux video or just suggest me something to do about Linux? I will do it, okay? So yeah, that's it. I will put link in the description for this site. You can go there and start testing the Linux testers. And for now, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.